Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Get locked out of your Access database. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to bypass the Microsoft Access startup and get back into your database design. Today's question comes from Darren in Lexington, Kentucky, one of my Platinum members. Darren says, a previous employee at my company built an Access database that we rely on. He has since been fired and refuses to provide any assistance. We cannot get into the design of his database. It goes right to the main menu and there is no way to get into the code or form design. And I cannot even see the list of tables. I've taken your access beginner class and nothing looks familiar. How can I get into this database to modify it? Well, Darren, honestly, I hear this a lot from people where employees built uh, a Microsoft Access database or something like that, that's, uh, you know, the company starts relying on, then the employee's no longer with the company, he retires, he gets fired, whatever. Um, and, and this, honestly, I think is why a lot of companies might be hesitant to allow their users to build Access databases because they don't want that, you know, that employee to be reliant upon to have to keep maintaining that software. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Uh, it's your database, your company owns it. You're just trying to get in and, and work with it. I understand. Let's take a look at a few things you can check firsthand though. First, make sure that you have an ACCDB file and not an ACCDE file. This video explains the difference between the two. Basically, if you wanna distribute your database to other people and not have them be able to mess with it and change the code and get into your VB and stuff like that, you can compile it into an ACCDE file. Check the shortcut that you have that you're running the database from. If that ends in ACCDE, then there's not a lot you can do to get into that database. It's basically been compiled into an execute only version. It's kind of like when you, you, know, you write real software, right? You have your VB and you compile it into an executable. Well, that's basically what this is, is an execute only version of the database. So in that case, you're gonna have to try and talk to him and see if you can get a copy of the ACCDB file, or you can send it to a company that can possibly reverse engineer for you, but that's not guaranteed. You'll find some more information and some links on this page. Now, assuming you have an ACCDB file, not an ACCDE, you can try the shift key bypass. All right, and that's where you hold the shift key down when you open the program, and that might bypass the startup code. So this video explains what a startup form is. There's two ways you can have stuff automatically run when your database starts. There's a startup form and there's an auto exec macro. Auto exec is kind of the older way to do it. Uh, and most uh, developers today will just use a startup form. So here, for example, is a shortcut to my tech help free template. If I run this guy, if I open it up, you can see it starts up a new A startup form. And you can turn all this other stuff off. You can turn off this navigation pane and the ribbons and all that stuff. There's settings for all of that. And I cover all that in my simple security video. But watch this. Click on this shortcut. Now hold the shift key down. Okay, now double click on it. And when it runs, the startup is bypassed. See, the main menu didn't start up. Right? And even if you shut all that other stuff off, you can still get into your your database. Now this video explains some ways in which you can lock down your database to keep average users out of it doing some stuff that um, like hides the navigation pane, for example. And here's the most common settings that you could do just to secure your database, which is what he might have done. Go into options, right? Now under current database, you could set a display form. I'm using an auto exec macro, but you could set a display form here and you can turn off a few of the settings. For example, turn off the navigation pane. You can turn off use special access keys and it tells you what these ones are here. Whoop, come here, come back. There you go, right? The navigation pane, the show immediate window, the show, v, show the VB window. So it turns all those things off. Those are the two big ones. You can also turn off the menus and the shortcut menus as well. Sometimes you leave those on, sometimes you can turn those off. And now when you start the database, you'll see that it's more locked down, see? Boom, this might be what you're getting, right? You got no navigation pane, you got no ribbon stuff, you got whatever menu options he gave you on the quick access toolbar, that's it, okay? But if you close this down and you hold the shift key down when you double click on it, it'll get back into your database like that. See, it bypasses all those options. 
All right, now, if you have an ACCDB file and the shift key does not work, the shift key bypass is not working, it's possible that he used another trick, which is to turn off allowing the bypass key. There's a setting called allow bypass key. It can only be set with VBA code. It's a little more advanced than I'm gonna go into this video, but I am gonna cover it in the extended cut for the members and I do talk about it in my security seminar. But basically, if those tricks don't work, that shift trick doesn't work, it still doesn't let you in, don't waste your time on it. That usually means that the developer locked it down pretty good. Um, you'll either need it, you know, someone with advanced VBA knowledge to help you, a security expert, a password recovery service, or something along those lines. So in the extended cut for the members, we're going to show you how to use that allow bypass key. We're going to make a couple buttons. We're going to show you how to lock and unlock the current database. And I'll show you how you can apply that property to other databases. So you can take an ACCDE file even that you've created and lock it from your developer database. So that'll be cool. That's gonna be covered in the extended cut for the members, silver members, and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And basically here's how it works. If I open up the database, if I come in here and I say lock this database, it's locked now. So if I close it and then try to reopen it, even with the shift key down, you can see it's ignoring that. It's ignoring the shift key. It's still locked it up. But if I hit unlock the database, now it's unlocked. Now I can close it and then open it back up again with the shift key down and it should go right to the navigation pane. There it goes. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, you can put passwords on all this stuff too with some input boxes or all kinds of extra stuff you can do. And I cover all of that in a lot more detail in my full security seminar. I, I show you how to set up user and group accounts. Uh, how to control workflow, how to log everything, how to encrypt and secure the database files, all kinds of stuff. It's in my security seminar. Check it out. But Darren, I hope that helps uh, helps you out somewhat, answer some of your questions and uh, get you started in the right direction to get that file unlocked. If you have any other problems or questions, post them in the comments down below or in the forums on my website. But that's going to do it. That's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. And members, I will see you in the extended cut. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there, just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. And you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. And you can become a diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.